with the rollout of any vaccine, we know that it can come with challenges. There are the program issues. There is actually the feasibility of getting vaccine into the community. But there's also then making sure people understand the rationale for receiving the vaccine, uh, about their eligibility, but also about the, the, the particulars of the vaccine, about making sure people um, understood how it was manufactured and about the safety of the vaccine. And that issue has been causing some people to, to, to maybe have a little bit of a hesitancy about whether or not they want to receive it. From all of the research that's been done over the last couple of months and, and even into last year, safety concerns have still been the number one factor. So from all of the work we've done in the past around vaccine hesitancy, we know that there's a couple of different ways that we can approach this issue. To support people, we need to focus on a couple of things. Firstly, we need to make sure that there is easily understandable information readily available to them in language too. So not just in English, but in easy to understand English um, and also translated into other language. And that information needs to cover the aspects that maybe they have questions about. You know, maybe about the development of the vaccines, maybe about the, the safety profile of these vaccines, um, and also then information that talks to maybe the risks and benefits of getting vaccinated. We also need to make sure that that information is being also verbally delivered by our health providers who are, you know, taking that time to, to address questions one-on-one -on -one with their patients in front of them or you know people in the community but we also know that um, bringing other spokespersons or ambassadors on board will also help and so this may be about working with uh, local community leaders maybe faith-based leaders sports stars you know maybe a range of different um, uh, people in the community of different ages um, to get them to get the message out to and lastly, we need to make it as accessible as possible. So some people may be quite happy to go to the mass vaccine clinics and they may work really well to, to get um, you know, people through in a timely way. But there'll be others that prefer to just go down to their local um, community um, general practice because they know that doctor. They've, they've, you know, they have had a long history of seeing that doctor. That doctor knows their particular health situation. So it's about bringing all of these different strategies together to help to try and reduce people's uncertainty, but also talk to maybe the factors that motivate people. And maybe that's where we could be doing a little bit more in too.